This is Dr. Surya Prakash. I'm a spine surgeon from MaxCore Hospitals. In this short video, I would try to explain you what are the problems associated with the disc prolapse and what are the various measures and methods we have available to treat this particular problem. Everybody knows actually about disc prolapse. If you ask anybody, they'll tell, yeah, yeah, I have got some lumbar disc problem. I've got a lot of back pain. It's very difficult for me to do day-to-day -day activities. I've got something like sciatica. This is how a lot of people say. Now, let's understand what exactly sciatica means and what is lumbar disc prolapse. Lumbar disc prolapse is a condition where the gel, which is there between the discs, what we call as a lumbar disc, it ruptures and you can see the red material. This is the nucleus that is the center of the gel which comes out and which pressurizes this yellow segment, what we call as a nerve. And this gives rise to pain along the leg, wherever the nerve supplies the leg. So this pain is what is usually called sciatica. Most of these disc prolapses can be managed very effectively with the conservative treatment. But a lot of times people are say, that sir, uh, this is a spine problem. If we undergo anything, it is going to be very bad for the spine in the long run. Most of these are not, uh, you know, scientifically correct and baseless. But again, it depends on how serious is the problem. Let me tell you, more than 90% of the population suffer from some time or the other with back pain. And among them, more than 50% of the total population will suffer from sciatica or this lumbar disc prolapse. To our uh, you know happiness, most of these disc prolapses are very very mild and they don't really cause such a serious problem. Most of the times with good exercises and physiotherapy and medical treatment, these treatments can be effectively be done. Now coming to what are the actual symptoms and how to diagnose this disc prolapse, it is I think very important for us to know that initially there will be some amount of back pain and suddenly what patient says is the back pain is got getting better but now suddenly I have got a pain coming down the leg like an electric shock or an electric current sort of a pain which comes down into the leg and uh, causes irritation for them. Especially the pain is very severe when they get up in the morning. As they get up and move along the pain tends to get better. These are the usually classical symptoms. When the patient comes to us, we check the patient up very, very carefully to look at if there is any nerve involvement, if there is any severe compression or any of those symptoms. And based on that, we give treatment. Almost 90% of these people have mild symptoms and most of them are treated without any surgery whatsoever and then with exercises and some medicines which tend to reduce the amount of pain. When the pain becomes very severe or there is some amount of nerve problem where because of this compression the nerve gets impinged and there is some weakness of the fingers or the toes in the leg or the pain is so severe that they are not able to walk well, these patients with lumbar disc prolapse can be operated with a microscopic surgery where a small cut is made into the back and that extruding offending fragment can be removed and they can be completely relieved of symptoms. And then this surgery is done by and large, maybe a single day admission is what is required. But then not all patients fit into this category. So as I talk about category, it is very important for us to know that the lumbar disc problem is essentially a problem of the young. That is people with around 20 years to around 45-50 years suffer from this lumbar disc prolapse. And usually older people, the incidence of lumbar disc prolapse is very less because of the aging, the lumbar discs spontaneously harden and the incidence of lumbar disc rupture comes down with time. And then a lot of times patients ask me, sir, is it possible for me to totally, you know, get rid of this disc problem? But the thing here is that one doesn't need to worry or take tension about this particular point because most of the times majority of the lumbar disc ruptures are all benign and there is no problem. It is only very very few percentage of these cases will require serious intervention and most of the times 
as long as the people maintain their weight they do regular physical exercise strengthening exercises to the back don't sit for a long period of time continuously take breaks especially the software professionals who continuously sit for a long period of time these are the people who will who are predisposed to back pain as long as such long sitting is avoided usually one doesn't need to really worry about the back pain or this lumbar disc rupture problems in case you have any doubts or any burning questions you want to know you can always uh, leave your comment below so that we can come back to you and then answer your query and help you to have a healthy back thank you